let's take a caller from Rochester, New York. Mike is on the air. Go right ahead. Good morning. I love this show. It's the highlight of the day. I'm so glad. (laughs) (laughs) A, A little different tack. I don't think the Republicans care who wins the uh, the presidency. They're using this as a distraction while they gobble up governorships and state houses. And they know that if they get enough of the state houses, enough of the uh, governorships, enough senators, they will rule the country because they can tie it up. Um, they have gotten an incredible volume of free airtime in the news. Everybody's talking about. All right, Lisa. I love this theory, and I love it because there are a few, I don't think a lot, there are a few Republicans who, who are thinking like that this year, those who are concerned about Trump. And we know many Republicans are not going to this convention at all because they're concerned about Donald Trump. Um, but I do. Th- but I think this is something Republicans have been doing for decades: is focusing on state houses and trying to work on redistricting. And that's why we have such a huge majority um, in the in the in Congress. One thing I think we should watch for: uh, I'm told there's going to be an effort at a rules change this convention to try and work on next presidencies where they want to move toward more closed primaries. They want fewer Democrats, fewer independents voting in Republican primaries because they're thinking about the out years past this election. And you're listening to the Diane Rehm Show. Our caller mentioned those who are not even going to the convention, Michael. Yeah, we we don't know uh, how... Donald Trump is going to fill all these hours he has at the convention. You have, uh, you know, Jeb Bush, former President Bush, um, Mitt Romney, who was a, a nominee uh, last time, John McCain, who was the nominee the time before. You have a number of Senate candidates who are in tough re-election fights, like Roy Blunt or Kelly Ayotte or John McCain, um, all saying they're not going to go. And so Trump is going to have to really reinvent the face of the Republican Party, which I think in a way, he's very happy to do. I mean, he wants the Republican Party to look like something different, to look like something that can appeal to Bernie Sanders voters. And so he's going to do it with a lot of new faces. We're just not entirely clear on which those faces will be. Karen? Well, it's also unclear whether his last, his rivals for the nomination are going to be at the convention in any meaningful way. Um, they do not expect to be given speaking spots. But, uh, for instance, there's a real question as w- whether John Kasich, the governor mm. of the state in which the convention is being held, is even going to set foot in the convention hall. So um, Has he not said anything? He has, he has thus far uh, basically refused to endorse Donald Trump. I have talked to people around him, and they said he will be in the city because as governor, he has to be there, you know, because of, you know, handling security and things like that. But it is far from clear whether he is going to have any presence at all within the hall. Let's, uh, for the last.